Hi, today's video is going to be about population genetics and in this video I'm going to explain how to find and calculate absolute and relative fitness of different genotypes. And today's problem is a species of snake has two forms, brown and green, they are determined by single locus with two alleles, such that homozygous dominant brown, heterozygous brown and homozygous recessive green. The brown form being cryptic has an 80% chance of surviving to adulthood. The green form has 60% chance of surviving to adulthood. If the brown form lives to adulthood, it produces an average of 13 offspring. The green form is more fecund and uh, surviving uh, adults produce an average of 20 offspring. What as a absolute and relative fitness of the each genotypes. So uh, if you feel that you can solve this problem on your own, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve uh, this problem and when you would be ready with your answer you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is uh, how, I'm, how I'm going to solve this problem. So we have two genotypes here, uh, that is uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous and both of them produce one phenotype that is brown. So uh, let's start with these two genotypes, that is uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous and let's calculate uh, the number of the offspring that these two genotypes can produce. So, uh, we know that they uh, produce 13 offspring, so we use this number, 13, but they can produce uh, 13 offspring only uh, when uh, they would survive, and survival rate is 80%. So we have to multiply this number by 80%, and the answer here would be 10.4 offspring for this uh, genotype that is brown and for the genotype that is green that is uh, homozygous recessive number of the offsprings is uh, 20 but uh, survival rate is only 60% so we are also using these numbers, so we have to multiply 20 by chance to survive to adulthood, that is 60%, and the number that we are going to get here would be 12. So, so as you see, uh, the second uh, number, that is 12, is greater than the first one, so green uh, phenotype would be more fit than the brown phenotype. So this is absolute numbers for the brown and for the green phenotypes. So we answered the first question, what is the absolute fitness? And as you see, green is more fit. Those uh, survival rate is least, uh, that is uh, 60%, but uh, this uh, phenotype or genotype is more fecund, so uh, absolute number is greater. And now we can move on to the second question and find relative fitness. How we are going to do it? This is also very easy. We use uh, W uh, for the uh, fitness, Y, W and not the F. Uh, letter because F is already reserved for the frequency so we use uh, W and uh, relative fitness uh, would be on the scale between 1 and 0 so we may have different numbers for different experiments and in order to compare them uh, we have to work on the same scale always or we wouldn't be able to get any scientific, uh, scientifically uh, uh, significant results. So, uh, 
In this case, we have to find the most fitted genotype or phenotype that is uh, green, and we have number 12 here, and this would be 1, would equal to 1. Uh, in other words, we can just divide it by itself, 12 divided by 12 would equal to 1. So this would be most fit genotype, and this would equal to 1 on the different scale that is here. This is scale of relative fitness, that is always between 0 and 1. And uh, now we have to find relative fitness of the second uh, phenotype that is brown, and this is also would be easy. So uh, the relative fitness, by the way, we have used g, small g, small g here, and here would be relative fitness of the uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes. So here we just have to divide uh, absolute number of the brown uh, phenotype that is 0 0.4 by absolute number of the uh, fittest genotype, that is 12, and the answer here would be 0 0.87. So this is going to be also two answers, so this is going to be uh, answer for the uh, green phenotype, and this is going to be uh, relative fitness of the brown phenotype. And as you see, uh, these two numbers are relative, uh, the same as here. So 1 is uh, greater uh, than 0 0.87 by 30% and 12 is greater than 10.4 also by 30%. So their relation uh, are the same, those numbers are different but uh, this relation we bring on this scale. This why we call this relative fitness. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.